This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the inverse of a matrix. And of course, we're talking about the multiplicative inverse of a matrix. In our first section, we're going to talk about what an identity matrix is. Next, we're going to talk about how to find a determinant. Next, we're going to calculate the inverse of a matrix by hand. And then last, we're going to talk about how to calculate an inverse using a calculator. All right, let's get started. Let's talk about what an identity matrix is. Here's a two by two identity matrix. And you'll see there's a little subscript of two right there. Uh, that subscript just means it is a two by two. And you can see that there are ones along the diagonals, zeros elsewhere. Here's a three by three identity matrix. Again, you'll see the ones along the diagonal and zero, zeros elsewhere. And you notice that we're ta only talking about square matrices. In other words, the number of columns and rows have to match. The neat property about identity matrices is that when you multiply a matrix times its inverse, notice that here I have matrix A, and that little negative one isn't means that it is an inverse. So anytime I multiply the inverse of a matrix times the matrix itself, itself and it doesn't matter how I arrange it. I could put A times A inverse, I could put A inverse times A, but when I multiply, I get these, I get these identity matrices. It's important to understand this property in order to fully understand what the inverse of a matrix is. Let's move on to our next section. So let's find some determinants. So you can see I started off with a matrix H. It is a two by two matrix. And again, you can only find the determinants of square matrices. And in order to calculate the determinant, it only requires a few products. So the first thing we do is calculate this product first, this diagonal that goes down to the right. So we're going to multiply 6 times negative 2. And then we're going to multiply the other diagonal, 4 times 1. We'll find these two products and then we're going to subtract. So here I'm going to get a negative 12 and I'm going to subtract 4. And that's the same thing as negative 12 plus negative 4, which is negative 16. Let's try another one. So here's another matrix. This is matrix K, another square matrix. You cannot find the determinant if it's not square. So the number of columns and number of rows have to match. So let's multiply this first diagonal. So negative 5 times 3. And then we're going to multiply 8 times negative 2. And then we're going to subtract these products. I'm going to subtract. Multiply here, I get negative 16. There you go, I've got my determinant. In this section, we're going to determine how to calculate an inverse by hand. So here we have matrix A. What we're going to do is calculate the inverse. Symbolically, we put a little negative 1 on A, and uh, that exponent there indicates inverse. So let's calculate. Well, the way you do this is you have to find the determinant of A and put it in the denominator of a fraction. Then take the fraction and multiply it by a slightly modified version of A. So what we do is we take this diagonal, 1 and 3, and we flip-flop those, flip those numbers. And then across the other diagonal, we're going to take the opposite of those values. All right, well, to continue, I have to first figure out what the determinant of A is. All right, well, you just multiply this diagonal, 3, multiply the other diagonal, 8, subtract, you get negative 5. 
All right, so this means we're going to take 1 over negative 5, and we're going to multiply it by this matrix. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to take negative 1 fifth times 3. That would be a negative 3 fifths. We take negative 1 fifth times 2. That's a 2 fifths. Take a negative one fifth times four, that's four fifths. And we take negative one fifth times one, that's a negative one fifth. Okay, sorry, I made my uh, fractions here a little stranger than the top ones, but they're all fractions there. Four elements of my answer. Let's try another problem. Here's our second problem. So we could see that we have now matrix B. Again, a two by two matrix. We're gonna calculate its inverse. All right, so again, we're gonna take the determinant of B and we're gonna multiply it by a slightly changed version. So we switch these guys and then we take the opposite of these values. All right, so first let's figure out what's the determinant of A. Oh, sorry, determinant of B. A was last problem. Okay, so uh, what do we do? We multiply here, so we get six times five is 30. We get four times negative two is negative eight. And then we subtract. So it looks like those two negatives are gonna make a plus, and that's 38. All right, so it looks like we're going to continue, put one over 38. We're then going to multiply it by this matrix. All right, moving on. Our inverse B is going to be, let's see, 3 eighths times 5 is 5 eighths. Sorry, 5 thirty eighths. 1 over 38 times 4 is negative 4 over 38, which we're going to reduce. We're going to multiply by 2, so that's going to be 2 over 38. Then we're going to multiply by 6, so it'll be 6 over 38. All right, so our last step, we could reduce some of these fractions. All right, cannot reduce the 5 thirty-eighths. Here we're going to get a 2 nineteenths. Here we're going to get a 1 nineteenth. Here we're going to get, let's see, a 3 nineteenths. Yep, can't reduce it any more than that. And there you go. We've got our answer. So let's calculate the inverse of a few matrices by using a calculator. So let's switch over to a calculator. Uh, I've got my TI Inspire. So the first thing I want to do is pull up a matrix. Now I click on this button here. Some calculators are a little different. I'm going to select a two by two matrix. Uh, because I'm using a calculator, I'm not going to be right now too picky about my numbers. Um, so I'm going to make some very strange numbers here, maybe even put in a negative 7. Now let's make that one of 6. Okay, so let's say i got a matrix here and I want to calculate its inverse. So what I want to do, of course, is raise this to the negative 1 power. Okay, so I raise this to negative 1 power and honestly I just press enter. And there you go, it calculates the inverse. So the key is just to put a negative 1 exponent. I could even do matrices that are larger. Okay, so let's say I take a three by three. Now, uh, again, I'm just gonna plug in numbers here and I'm just willy-nilly plugging in numbers um, because most inverses have, most matrices that is, have an inverse. There are some matrices that don't have inverses and those are the matrices that have a determinant of zero. Okay, but the odds of me creating one that's going to have a determinant of zero are so low, okay, that I'm not even going to be worried about it. Uh, okay, so let's put a power, and I'm going to put a negative one, okay, and press enter. And there you go, you could see that I've got this inverse matrix, and it did this very quickly for me. These calculators are awesome. Okay, so uh, you want to make sure you go back to Math Guide, check out our other instructional videos, interactive quizzes, and text-based lessons.
Take care.